ever argued with a self-checkout over a bag of chips. Annoying, right? Now imagine that same glitch, but in a baby formula factory. No warning, no beeps, just silent failure, and a million-dollar disaster. Today, we're cracking open the tiny one-dollar sensor that quietly controls the fate of billion-dollar industries with real consequences. Why and what happens when it fails? And if you're into the hidden tech that keeps the world running, hit subscribe and stick around. This one's wild. The tiny giant, what is an industrial proximity sensor? At the heart of this story is a sensor you've probably never noticed, the inductive proximity sensor. It's used in food, pharma, automotive, basically everywhere. This tiny device sends out an invisible magnetic field, almost like a Jedi force field. When a metal object passes through the field, it disturbs the signal. That tiny disruption tells a machine, hey, something's here. No contact, no moving parts, just a fast, clean yes or no response. That signal might seem basic, but it can control multi-million dollar equipment. If it misses just once, the system continues as if everything is fine, and that's when things go wrong. If every sensor beeped out loud every time it worked, factories would sound like a microwave alarm army. These little guys are the unseen heroes of production. But what happens when one of them stops being a hero and quietly becomes the villain? Before we see how it all goes wrong, if you're enjoying this deep dive into the hidden world of manufacturing, give this video a like. It really helps us know you want more content like this. The silent failure, how a hero dies. A $1 sensor doesn't usually die in a blaze of glory. It dies quietly. It doesn't go out with a bang. It ghosts you. No texts, no drama, just quiet betrayal while sipping coffee in the break room. And that's what makes it so dangerous. There are a few ways this can happen. The most common killer is vibration. A factory is a shaky place. Motors are running, conveyors are rattling, and machines are stamping. Over months, this constant tiny vibration can cause the super thin wires inside the sensor to break. The connection is lost and the sensor just goes dead. Another enemy is thermal shock. Factories are often cleaned with high pressure steam or hot water. A sensor might go from room temperature to scorching hot and back down again in minutes. This rapid change in temperature causes the metal housing and the plastic potting inside to expand and contract at different rates. Eventually, this can create tiny cracks, letting in moisture that fries the delicate electronics. Then there's physical damage. A factory is a busy place. A forklift might bump into a machine, barely scratching the paint, but knocking the sensor just a few millimeters out of alignment. Now, it's too far away to detect the parts it's supposed to see. Or worse, it gets hit directly and its face gets scraped or dented, which can ruin the shape of its magnetic field. The most dangerous failure is sensor drift, where it works, but only just barely. Its detection range slowly shrinks over time. The system doesn't know this. It thinks everything is fine. The million dollar cascade. So let's take the example of a bottling plant. One of the sensors on the capping line, the one that checks for caps, has started to drift. It's getting old. Its signal is weak. On a normal day, it still works fine. But today, the conveyor belt is running just a tiny bit faster than usual. A bottle comes down the line, the capper misses it, and it arrives at our weak sensor. Because the bottle is moving faster, it's in the sensor's weak detection zone for a fraction of a second less time. It's not enough. The sensor fails to send the no cap signal. The robotic rejection arm doesn't fire. The unsealed bottle continues down the line as if everything is perfect. It gets grouped 
with 11 other perfect bottles. A robotic arm picks them all up and places them into a cardboard case. A machine seals the case with glue. The case is then stacked on a pallet with 50 other cases. But inside that first case, the unsealed bottle is leaking. The sticky soda soaks into the cardboard, making it wet and weak. The result? A million dollar mess. You have thousands of dollars of lost product. You need a cleanup crew to handle the sticky, sugary disaster, which costs thousands in labor. The production line has to be stopped for hours to figure out what happened, costing tens of thousands in lost production time. And worst of all, what if that pallet had already been shipped? A customer receives a sticky, broken mess. They lose confidence. They might even cancel a multi-million dollar contract. All of this, every single bit of it, started because a $1 sensor quietly failed to do its job. Let's step out of the bottling plant for a second and talk about what actually happened in one real expensive factory disaster from 2017. This one took place in a food packaging facility in the UK. The company was producing vegan ready meal trays, the kind you'd find in a supermarket freezer. These meals were clearly labeled vegan and were supposed to be completely dairy free. But something small went wrong and it started with a sensor. In this facility, a machine was filling trays with different ingredients, rice, veggies, sauces, and toppings. To make sure the right product went into the right tray, a set of sensors and scanners checked the trays and labels before filling. And one sensor, just one, decided to phone it in that day. It didn't raise a red flag. It just let dairy into the vegan party. That's like inviting bacon to a temple lunch. It didn't completely shut down. It just started missing the occasional mismatch. And that's exactly what happened. A batch of trays meant for dairy-based lasagna accidentally got filled into packaging labeled vegan. No one caught it. The system thought everything was okay. The trays were sealed, boxed, and shipped to stores. Now imagine you're someone with a serious dairy allergy and you trust that vegan means safe. A customer bought one of these meals, ate it, and had a severe allergic reaction. Thankfully, they survived, but the damage was done. The company had to issue a national product recall. Thousands of trays were pulled from shelves. Grocery stores lost faith. News headlines picked up the story. Not only did it cost the company a massive amount of money, but it also shattered public trust in their labeling. And all of this, it happened because one sensor failed to do its job. It didn't beep, it didn't flash, it just quietly let the wrong trays slip through. This wasn't a system meltdown, it was a silent, simple mistake. And that's what made it so dangerous. The Guardians, how smart factories fight back. So, are all factories just one sensor failure away from doom? Number the smartest factories, whether in Germany, Japan, or the United States, have a plan. They don't just trust the sensor, they check the sensor. First, they build in redundancy. On a super critical checkpoint, like a final safety check, they won't use one sensor, they'll use two. Both sensors have to agree that the product is good. If one sensor says yes, and the other says no, the system stops everything and alerts an operator. Second, they use smarter technology. It can tell the main computer, my signal is getting weak, or I'm getting dirty, or I'm a bit too hot. This allows the factory to predict when a sensor is about to fail and replace it before it ever causes a problem. Finally, there's good old-fashioned human checks. Operators are trained to visually inspect critical sensors at the start of every shift. They might use a small metal tool to pass in front of the sensor just to make sure its little green light still blinks. It sounds simple, but this five-second check 
can prevent a catastrophic failure. They treat every single sensor not as a cheap, disposable part, but as a crucial guardian of the entire production line. Okay, so we've seen how a simple sensor that can only detect present or absent can cause so much chaos. But that technology is over 50 years old. What if a sensor could do more? What if it wasn't just looking, but was actually smelling? I heard a crazy rumor that some food factories are using sensors that can smell spoiled milk or bacteria before any human or machine could ever detect it. Is this science fiction or are we entering a new age where factories can smell disaster coming? The answer is weirder and cooler than you think. All right, that rumor about smelling sensors, it's 100% true. It's not a rumor, it's the next frontier of factory technology and it's called an electronic nose or e-nose. Here's the mind-blowing part. An e-nose isn't just one sensor. It's not a nose. It's a full-blown chemical team packed into a tiny chip. Each sensor has one job. Sniff out sketchy stuff before it becomes a scandal. So one sensor might be really sensitive to sulfur compounds, another to ammonia compounds, and so on. When fresh milk passes by, it gives off a specific mix of gases. The e-nose sniffs this air, and its array of sensors creates a unique digital fingerprint. The computer says, okay, that fingerprint matches fresh milk. All good. But if there's even a tiny amount of bacteria starting to grow, that bacteria releases different waste gases. This changes the mix of gases in the air. When the e-nose sniffs this, the sensors create a slightly different fingerprint. The computer immediately recognizes this new pattern and says, warning, that fingerprint matches early stage spoilage. Reject this batch now. So the twist isn't just that sensors can smell, it's that they don't smell like a human nose does. They see patterns in chemicals. They can be trained to recognize the smell fingerprint of almost anything, from perfectly cooked chicken to tiny contaminants in medical supplies. It's not just a simple on or off switch anymore. It's a cheap sensor that can make a complex judgment call, preventing problems we can't even see or smell ourselves. So, from a $1 metal detector to a $5 electronic nose, the world of sensors is getting way more intelligent. Did this peek behind the factory curtain blow your mind? We've got even crazier stories of manufacturing secrets and technological marvels coming up. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications so you don't miss our next video, where we'll uncover how a tiny mistake in printing ink led to a massive multi-country product recall. For now, I'm off to see if I can win an argument with that self-checkout machine. Happy travels in the world of tech, and we'll see you in the next one.